Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and today we're going to change out the cabin air filter in a 2015 F-150. Today we're replacing it with a Bosch HEPA air filter. This is a premium filter. It's the best filtration you can get at 99.97 filtration rate and 0.3 microns. It filters out dust, pollen, allergies, and is also recommended to replace every 12,000 miles standard across all vehicles. If you do a lot more off-road driving or dusty road driving, you should probably change it more often. We haven't changed ours in probably well over 30,000 miles, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how dirty this thing is, especially with all the miles we drove out west this year. Today, all you're gonna need is your replacement filter. You will need a seven millimeter uh, wrench here, kind of socket type tool. I chose to use it in screwdriver fashion. You'll see why. You also need a couple of trim tools. You can buy them as a package. I recommend doing it if you're gonna be changing out anything else in your vehicle trim wise it's handy to have all these different types of tools i think i'll be using this one but i'm not 100 percent sure we'll see what's easiest once we get to the trim removal portion so let's get started all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove everything that's in the glove box and then we'll be dropping it down out of the way so let's go ahead and open it up and we'll clean out the glove box and get started now that we've got our glove box cleared out First thing that we're going to do is release a detent on the outside here. And this is what keeps it from falling out. So what we'll do is we'll lift it up slightly. We'll pull this detent back. I'll show you here on the other side. And there's a hole and it will release. And you kind of pull it back and it'll allow the glove box to drop down completely so that we can get a little more access. Okay, so first step, we'll lift it up just a little bit. And then on the other side here, we will compress this detent over it out okay so now that we've got this detent released on this side it's still being held up there's some areas on this inside here you're going to kind of pinch them together and it will allow it to drop out so here we're pulling this side on this side okay so now that we've got our glove box dropped out of the way we're going to remove this portion here Shouldn't have to use any trim removal tools. What you're gonna do is just kind of push up along it. And pull kind of up and out this direction. Okay, so we've got that trim removed. You can set that aside. These are the two seven millimeter bolts that you'll need to remove, these two here. So once you remove those, there's some more snaps kind of behind here and we'll kind of just slowly work it out, straight out. That's how it snapped in. Let's go ahead and remove these. All right, now that we've got those removed, we're just gonna kind of slowly work here and pull this straight out. Now there's some snaps in here, so you may hear them releasing. You also kind of just wanna be careful, you don't wanna break anything. Um, the snap bar below, you kind of have to separate it. Just kind of pull back. You'll feel, you'll feel two pieces here. Okay. Now, you're going to want to be careful. There is a wiring harness, I believe, behind here. See that? You just kind of slowly drift it to the side here so you're not pulling on it. So now that we've got that removed, this will give you access to where the cabin air filter is. Uh, it's right here, this honeycomb piece here. Right behind here is where the filter is. So that's it right there. These clips here, so you just kind of pull from the back edge on these two sides. It'll come out like that. All right, here's our filter. So it's showing the air going down. So we'll need to remember to replace it that direction with the air going down. Oh, that's a pretty dirty filter. See a lot of stuff in there. Definitely due to be replaced. This is our new Bosch unit. It does have the airflow on there as well. Pulled straight out, so you're gonna, it's gonna go in like this with airflow going down. Just for a visual, this is the difference here. Different color, obviously but definitely needs to be changed out. So let's do that. So it seems to be a pretty tight fit. 
I think I've, I'm pretty sure I've got it the right direction because there's only one side with the lettering on it. Uh, but you may need to kind of like pinch down the edges just to make sure it slides in correctly. So let's slide it on in here. There we go. So it seems you got to keep it low, as low as you can. There we go. So it really kind of popped into place there. There's a, it's kind of tapered at the top just to make sure it stays in place. So just gotta really keep it low and it fits in there well. So you wanna make sure it's seated like it is now. And then we will go ahead and replace the honeycomb cover for it. All right, so this goes in like this and you notice this bulb edge is towards the top. And these feet here, you'll kind of clip them in that edge first and then snap it back into place. Just like that. Okay, so that we've got the filter replaced now. We've got the cover on there. The next step is to reinsert this main portion of the glove box first, and then we'll have two uh, seven millimeter set screws to set in there before we replace the rubber trim piece. Be careful of your cord here, make sure it feeds in. And these are the tabs that we need to make sure snap back in these slots correctly. So you've got two on each end here, and then you've got three in the middle. And you can see I've actually lost one of my tabs here from when I replaced it last time. You want to be careful not to break these or make sure if they're slid off to just slide them back on before you snap this together. That white plastic portion is what actually keeps it retained in these clips. So if you don't have them on there, it's not going to stay retained. It'll seem like it's loose. Uh, so just be careful with that on replacing them. Um, we probably could dust this thing off. It's pretty dirty, but we're not going to. So go ahead and make sure it's aligned. You can kind of feel them. See our holes are aligned. And I'm going to start at the ends here and push in and then we'll go work our way towards the middle. Some of these you can kind of feel them on the back and just make sure it's in there and seated. So our next step is to replace the two seven millimeter bolts. Make sure you don't over tighten. Okay. Nice and secure. Okay, now we will replace this trim piece here across the top. You'll notice it's got this ledge here that clips in. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of seat it up like this and then snap it down in. there and snap them into place. Make sure there's quite a few little pieces here. Just make sure they're all snapped in place there. All right, now let's go ahead and test fit the glove box and make sure it fits back in here. These two bumpers here, there's one on each side. You'll have to kind of push in so that it doesn't get caught here when you put it back up in and those little bumpers will keep it from falling out. So you gotta push up on both of them. Helps you use your knee a little bit. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and snap this D10 in place so we can test fit it properly. So I got it snapped in on that side. Here we go. That's it. Glove box is back together. You go ahead and fill it with your items. That's that's it. That's as easy as it is to replace the cabin air filter on your F-150. Thanks for watching this how-to video on replacing your cabin air filter on a 2015 F-150. If you like this video, please smash down that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this how-to video. Post your questions and comments below. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.